We just finished dinner and we're getting ready to wrap this painting right here. I think this is one of the most detailed pieces I've ever done. Good morning, Minho. Good morning slash afternoon vlog world. I am getting a late start today because we were enjoying things last night. And I am making myself a smoothie because I have to run. I have some really cool things happening today. Did someone wake up? Oh, hey. Hey, Lizzie, Lizzie. I'm about to upload that top five fry. We're <laughs> using the curtains because someone's staying next door. My life has changed. See? I am at Nazareth College, which is just outside here at Rochester. And I am here to visit one of my friends from high school who is a librarian. I haven't seen him in a, probably a couple of years. And there is a teen book festival going on. So I thought it would be fun. So I was at this talk and I just met. What's your name? Tori. Tori. And she's a fan of our channel and Megan's channel. So, cool. Thanks for saying hi. Hi, what's hi, your name? I'm Zaysia. Zaysia, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Who is your favorite author? Um, Rachel Hawkins. I'm working with her too. Oh, nice. Sweet. All right. It was great meeting you. Hey guys, I want to introduce you. This is my friend Carl. Hi. And we used to do theater together and we went to high school together. Yes, that's true. And he was just laughing because somebody came up to say hi. All I know her is a little Steph Fischler from high school. Like I don't know her as a blogger or a YouTuber. Hello. What's your name? Melissa. Melissa, how have you been enjoying the book festival? Oh, it's Great. It's so many authors here. It's amazing. Who's been your favorite author so far? Uh, probably the one I've been working with, um, Rachel Hawkins. I almost okay. forgot the name. Yeah. Cool. I got A.S. King's autograph. I did not film it, but I did get a photo, which I'm going to try to insert here. So maybe it doesn't show up. No, you'll have to let me know. And my friend Carl is getting one last signature, and then I think we're gonna head out. This guy is so much fun to go to these things with because he knows the authors, and they always like, they're like, hey, and give you a big hug. Blows my mind. But you know, big long line, and there's Carl, and she's like, hi. There's me. Oh, there's the bathroom. Just said goodbye to Carl. In the car getting ready to head back, I am so glad that I came out today. I haven't seen Carl in a long time. We were such good friends, you guys. His senior year, which was my sophomore year no my freshman year was his senior year we ate lunch together almost every day we did theater together both regular theater and musical theater and like we seriously saw each other pretty much throughout the day though we didn't have any classes together and he's just such a sweetheart like I love that man genuinely as a friend and I'm so happy that he came and he gave me a heads up, hey, I'm coming to Rochester. And it was fun to come to this with him because he's really, he's so knowledgeable about books and authors. And the authors, like a lot of them actually knew him and we'd be standing in a big long line and they'd be just going through everybody and then they'd see Carl and they'd jump up and give him a hug and it was so cool. I couldn't film that part, but it was just so cool. And for those of you that I got to meet, like, I wouldn't have gotten to meet you if I didn't come. Which was so awesome. I'm just blown away, you guys. And I got a book. I'm home. So yeah, it was fun. 
I got to meet a lot of really cool people. Um, got to meet a lot of people who watch our videos. Really? Yeah, which was cool. Wow. And a couple other cool people. And then I got to meet one author. And like I told the vlog, it was whether or not we put that clip in. It was really cool hanging out with Carl because he is he's a librarian he also works at a bookstore okay so he knows that genre very very well mm. he could tell me about the auth the different authors and the different books and like we'd walk in and he'd be standing in line and they'd see him come up and you know they're sitting there writing their notes or whatever they'd see him their eyes would light up they'd stand up and they'd walk over and give him a big hug so that was cool. If I was gonna do that, he would be the person that I want to do that with, you know. Hmm. So that was really neat. And I got an autograph book. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let me see. I bought the book. Okay. I crawl through it. I got some shirts. This one, which I thought would be very flowy and pretty. It is flowy and pretty. And summery, which I'm looking forward to wearing because I can wear it with a skirt or shorts or jeans. It's perfect. And then this top. You're smiling. Because I like the message. Oh, that's a good one. They're men hoes. But I think that's a spot. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, he's still a little guy. I gotta make a trip to the store. Where are you going to the store? I'm gonna go to the store that has electronic equipment. What for? Because Minho chewed through the last of the phone cords. You're joking, right? I wish I was. Up on the counter? Yeah. He chewed it on the counter? Uh-huh. You mean he was literally standing on the counter when he chewed it? Yep. There she goes. Check this out. Right here. Minho. So I said to her right before she left, don't put Minho on the counter. And she said, I didn't put him on the counter. So now I'm wondering, how did Minho get on the counter? Because this is where we keep this one. We only have one left. We have the USB that plugs right into the outlet there. And then we charge our phones here. You missed her. You missed her. If you could just lick and not bite like that on the power cord. We'd be A-OK -okay with that. I've got a jar full of kimchi that's not been cut. If you don't know, when they make kimchi, they usually make it with the really big leaves as is. And they've all been squished into this jar. And I'm gonna try to cut this kimchi up. Oh, smells so good. This is like kimchi lover food porn. This is scissors action all the way, not knife. Don't you think? Good point. Oh my god. That was opened right in my face. I'm gonna use the heavy duty scissors. I'm trying to be careful because I have a bunch of little cuts on my hands. And I know that if I get kimchi juice in them, it's going to hurt so much. That's a lot of kimchi.
if you even try a little bit of that, you're going to burn your mouth. No, it's worse than that. It's probably very poisonous. Oh, you better go down. Jar is empty. Is that for some juice, Kent? Can't lose the juice. No, you need the juice. <laughs> Look at how juicy the cutting board is. <laughs> wow. Well, and it gets actually more difficult to cut it up as you go on. I have learned. Does it? Yep. Because? Well, because first off, it's harder to get it out of the container and then your hand gets tired and it gets heavier. Because it's heavy stuff, man. You know? Not to mention the juice gets in all of the little cuts in your fingers. Why don't you make your own kimchi stuff? Cause I just don't want to. It's too much work. <laughs> well, and we found a place that you can buy fresh homemade kimchi. Right. So buy an actual Korean ajma. Who knows how to make it better than us. And it's reasonably priced all things considered. And it would probably taste a whole lot better. It does taste a whole lot better than probably what I would come up with. That's right. Because mine probably wouldn't be 100% authentic. Whereas this is like... This is the real thing and you're an amazing cook, but you're not cooking kimchi. Cooking kimchi. Making it. And a minute later, what you cooking? I am coming up with a recipe off the top of my head, just knowing things that work well together in Korean food. So I've got some chicken cooking. I took some of the kimchi with the juice from inside the bowl and on the cutting board, which is still quite a bit of juice. I cut up some carrots from our weekly share, an onion, and over here I have some dandelion greens that oh. I cut up that okay. I think I'm gonna try to throw in. Two plates. Korean food. Minho's ready. Everybody's ready. So this is kimchi and dandelion mix. Kimchi, carrots, dandelion, onion, um, chicken. It tastes eerily familiar to something I used to eat all the time in Korea. I think they make dishes with dandelions over there. They must, because I don't know what else is so much more familiar about this. It's not just the kimchi. Well, I think that it's it's the bitterness of the dandelion. Like, they do use bitter greens in a lot of their cooking. Right. This piece is actually a commissioned piece. Um, this is going to a big supporter of ours in Seattle, actually. He just moved to Seattle. And so thought I'd give him a painting of his new hometown. And um, on the back I wrote a quote from Tom Robbins. It says, to some extent, Seattle remains a frontier metropolis, a place where people can experiment with their lives and change and grow and make things happen. Thanks for cooking. I hope you had a nice afternoon at the university. I did. I got to reconnect with some really awesome people today because I was just sending messages back and forth with Megan mm. in Korea. I got to meet some awesome people at 
is a thing today. The book fair, but book teen book festival. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hasta luego. Bye.